This extension was designed to manage and track expenses as well as bill your customers for those expenses. First, let's take a look at our test record. So under this organization, we have a custom module that's called travel expenses. And these are the travel expenses related to this organization. You can see some of the expenses have already invoice number assigned and some don't. So for testing purposes, I will just add a new expense. Put in, say, the cost, description, and hit save. So that's the travel expense we just added. And in addition, um, I will go to one of my tickets and add additional part that was used to complete that ticket. So tickets, this is the maintenance ticket. We'll go into details. And again, this is the ticket view. And under tickets, we have additional parts, which is, again, an expense. And I'll just go ahead and add a new one. Let's say quantity of two, 200 each. And we'll just hit save. And we can see that expense was added. So all the expenses are basically just custom modules that you can easily create with our custom module builder. So now that I have multiple expenses available to be billed, I will go back to my customer record, to the organization. We can do that with contact as well. So under organizations, I'll go to my invoices, add new invoice. And as I scroll down, I can see this new button here, add custom expense. And I have three options. So those are the three modules that we configured to be available as expenses. So first, let's do our travel expenses. So as soon as I click, it shows me all the outstanding travel expenses that have not yet been billed to the customer. So let's select them all. This is our test one. We have the cost description. As soon as I hit add, those expenses get then added to my invoice. The description gets pre-filled. We have the quantity and the price for each. The price and description and the quantity are optional to be brought back from the expense module, but that can be configured in the configuration area. And next, let's add our additional parts from the ticket. We have our new part and then another one from unrelated ticket. So I'll just go ahead and add both. And you can see both were added, the description pre-filled, the quantity, and the total. So now how are those configured? But before we go to the configuration, um, if I were to hit save, the invoice would get created, then all of the expenses would then get an invoice number assigned, and you would no longer be able to add those to the invoice because you already build them once. So now let's go to configuration. To access the configuration, you would go to settings, CRM settings, other settings, and then custom expenses. And this is the list that we have. We have additional parts, travel expenses, and project expenses. You can simply hit add new expense, and then you would just select your module. You can pick any module to be your expense. It can be tickets, activities, um, anything like that. For in this case, I'll just exit out of it and open one of the existing ones that we configured. So let's do additional parts. So you can see we select the module. We put the name of the expense that will show up on that button. You have an option to map your quantity from the expense module, same with the price and description. And lastly, you can include add it as a product or a service. Say if you want to do a service, select the service, and once you hit, it'll give you a list of all the services that you can associate with that expense module. So that's basically it for the expenses module for B Tiger.